Students all over Siouxland weren't in school today and won't be for the next few weeks. Many school districts closing their doors as a precautionary measure to keep the coronavirus from spreading. KCA Unite's Jessica Watson joins us live this evening outside of Spalding Park Elementary. And Jessica, tell us what does this all mean for working families here in Siouxland? Tim, the decision to come to close Sioux City Community School District schools came at 9 o'clock last night, and they're expected to be closed for at least four weeks. That means a lot of parents are trying to quickly figure out a place for their kids to stay while they're at work. I thought it was a little delayed, um, but I'm grateful that they are doing that. And as a precaution, it's nice to know you're not exposing your, your child. Made me feel a lot better. Rachel Rogers, like a lot of parents, was a little surprised by the decision to close Sioux City schools for a month. But at Apple Tree Preschool and Learning Center, they saw it coming. Of, um, parents that have their children currently here, they have already called us and said when school will be out, their older kids will be here. But those are the kids that we always take. We haven't had any calls out of our typical children that we have. The center also has some unexpected help to handle the extra load. So I go to South Dakota State University and we were on spring break and they, as of now, just extended our spring break for an extra week. Whitney Lang works at the daycare whenever she's home on break. I found out on Friday that my schedule was going to be changing and then last night finding out that the Sioux City Community School District was changing and stuff like that. So Lori and I were in contact yesterday and then came in this morning and starting my week today. We need to be here for all of those people that we still need to work. Doctors, nurses and pharmacists and people that work at the grocery store. So we need all of those people to have somewhere to bring their kids so our lives can still go on because we're here for everyone. Another daycare I spoke to today says it's been a wash for them. While they do have some new kids, they also have quite a few that are able to stay home with their parents. While we're sure they're out there, what we weren't able to find today were parents struggling to find a place for their kids to stay because of the school closure. Reporting live in Sioux City, Jessica Watson, KCAU 9 News.